Long Beach State University is one of the most iconic college baseball programs in history. From 2010 to 2017, they had more active players in the MLB than any other college program in the country. Some of the most notable alumni are Jason Giambi, Evan Longoria, Troy Tulowitzki, Jared Weaver, and Jeff McNeil. And we got to take an exclusive tour of their baseball complex and experience a day in the life of a current player on the team and just see what it's like to be a Long Beach State dirtbag. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another D1 facility tour. We're here at Long Beach State and this is our tour. So guys, I'm just I'm Morrissey, transfer from Cal State Bakersfield. I'm glad to be a dirtbag. Shout out College Baseball Hub for sponsoring our D1 Facility Tour Series. Subscribe if you guys are new. Let's get right into it. Let's go. All right, guys, real quick, before we get into the video, I just want to shout out College Baseball Hub for helping us make this all possible. College Baseball Hub is any college baseball fan's, like, dream website, man. They have a map with every single school in the country. You can go click at information on them and stuff. You know, it's the best baseball account on Instagram, so go check them out. College Baseball Hub, thank you guys for helping make this possible. So, yeah, let's get right into the tour at Long Beach State. Let's go. Dude, so the coolest stuff about this is, like, when you're walking in, you see the history. Yeah, oh, yeah, That's yeah. the best part. Walking, these guys are kind of where you want to be. Yeah. And you always hear about how their work ethic was. Pretty good alumni. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good it's company. Crazy. I remember the only time I've seen Long Beach State, I'm from New England, so, like, I don't yeah. really know much about yeah. it, is Ole Miss, when they do that uh -huh. vlog series, okay, Ole Miss you. does that, like, yeah. the season they came here for, like, their season opener. I mean, look at this place. Like, you want to be. It's crazy. You yeah. can't not want to be. Bro, if you're a recruit coming here, how are you not just like, oh, no, I'm committed. Exactly. Like, this, this is a spot. So tell me about like getting your work in here with the feel right here. Is that motivation for you? It's it's really nice. You know, like when you're hitting here, you feel free and you want to have a sense of freedom while you're hitting here. And our coaching staff is insane. Like Brian Peters, our hitting coach, he gives us all the tools we need to be the best player we can be. And we come in here and it's nothing but work, but it's not just work, you know, you're having fun. This is your craft. You have to have fun while you're playing baseball. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Free and easy is what we call Dude, it. the grass. It's going to be a crazy dude. Oh, this grass is it's perfect. It's yeah, insane. Yeah. It's so <laughs> we have a Dodgers crew that comes out okay, every right. single day. Yeah, th every day. Every That's day. crazy. So man, tell us about where we're at right now. We're at home plate. This is where the money is made, for me at least, <laughs> right. and for a lot of guys. You know, when we train, we train to every single aspect of baseball. We don't just train to one. You know, we train to the hardest moments that you got to work through, and we try to make it as easy and fluid as possible. Everything you train over there in that batting cage has to come onto this field and made it, you have to make it easy and you have to let it just happen naturally you can't try to go up there and press some of the vibes too i walk in here music's going yes. like you're saying loose is, is that your guys motto like Always. that's perfect man yeah I what, what what's the dirt bags what does that come from okay so, i've always wondered that yeah so the biggest thing when people ask us what about what is the dirt bags like why are you guys named such a thing that can come with a the harsh <laughs> yeah, you know connotation yes <laughs> exactly you know and we're going to treat everybody with respect we're going to go out there and we, we're going to handle our business in the classroom yeah. and respect our authorities but when we step on this field it's nothing but me and you <laughs> yeah and we're going to go out there and give it all we got as a family yeah we're a big family here yeah. so we take this name with a lot of pride that's so cool yeah. i love it yeah it's unique you, you sometimes you just a lot of times you see like tigers or like whatever those are common names this isn't this is the only one this is dirtbag. this is it's big for us because you know some teams talk about how they want to play like there's a name throughout the the team it's not their name this is our name yeah we're the dirt bags and we're gonna play this this name with everything we got no matter what there's there's no long days there's no hard days every day is a day you're gonna go at it with the best you can and you're gonna have fun while doing it hard. i think that's a big thing that our coaches insist on us do you want like the actual story behind why would that yeah what's yeah yeah, yeah. So in 1989, when Dave Snow took over, played on a field that was literally just dirt. Okay. No grass anywhere. It was just dirt. So they, all they did was bleed, sweat, cry, everything. The nickname Dirtbags. Yeah. It's just for that year, they went on College World Series appearance, 50 win season. Wow. And Dirtbags stuck. This is everything I've dreamed of. Yeah. You know, as a kid, I, will, oh, you know, I live by, I live. 10 minutes from UCLA. Uh -huh. I live in Venice. I live right by USC. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I never wanted to be a Bruin or a Trojan. I've always wanted to be a dirtbag. Really? And I opened my portal and Coach V called me. It was like my heart just raced. And yeah. it was like, it didn't feel real. Yeah. And I, I jumped up and down. I started telling my dad, like, I just got offered by Long Beach State. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long Beach State is known for baseball. Like, baseball is the sport here at UCLA, USC, you kind of get stuck behind football basketball yep. so like here it's like no this is you have a complex like this for a reason exactly. so i think that's super cool man and it's cool because throughout the school you know you it's, hear it's about because when you think of college athletes you think like they get the treatment they get this and they get that here in the long beach state culture they want our athletes we even us we want to be 
the definition of someone who can make a difference for our society. And that's why I love coming here. You know, the culture that surrounds this place right here. Yeah. Everything about it is just makes you want to come here so much more. And yeah. it's insane. And culture. I think culture is so important when building like a winning program. Yep. Culture is everything. So it's like, it's so important to have that. Like, even like we said, we're dirt bags where it's ingrained in the name from, yep. from day one. It's like this culture has been built over, you know, decades. Decades. Super On cool. the walls over here, we have those things in the walls. Yep. J band. Okay, yeah. We got our, those are our J band stations for our pictures. That's our plyo wall. Um, and then in here, this is kind of like where we do our bunt, our bunt drills and stuff like that. But this is our pictures workspace. You know, they come in here. Our pitchers work harder than anybody on the field. They're running consistently. They're just trying to be the best versions of themselves. Mm -hmm. so you look at them and you you hear like their claps and their, their the way they talk to each other. It's just like, damn, that's crazy brotherhood. And then when we all come together, it's like best friends that didn't know we you, we yeah. didn't know we existed. Right, right, and right. I think that's huge. As a pitcher, I can appreciate this space. There's plenty of room to get everyone's work done because you see some bullpen areas that coaches are like, I right, get your work done. It's yeah. like tiny little one lane. <laughs> yeah. This is big. You can do your plyos here, bands here, plenty of mounds. Like this is this. And then of course, overlooking like yeah. the stadium to get it going. So as a pitcher, I can really appreciate this. Yeah, this, this view is insane. Yeah. They, uh, they do this thing where if you make an error on a PFP, you have to skip all the way. <laughs> Oh, man, it's a funny. That's hilarious. It's a funny. See, that's thing ever. I love that though, because it's not like all right, go do sprints. It's like no. oh, you gotta do. Yeah, you gotta it's do. it's funny it's because it's not like it's not a punishment. Yeah, it's just like go do this. It's like damn it, no, take, take it. a second. That's you know, so get funny. back here. So I, I love think, that. Yeah, I think that's a big wow. part. Like this is. This is great. Yeah, <laughs> this is perfect. A big yeah. thing that that us as dirtbags we instill in our our everyday life is we never disrespect anybody. Mm -hmm. We don't disrespect teams. We try to take care of it as best we can. You know, this is a place where people come to get better and make money. Mm -hmm. So we're never going to mess with somebody else making True. money. Yeah. You know, come here, have a good game, you know, like have fun, enjoy while playing here. Yeah. But, you know, it's us against you, but we're going to still. But you want you. their best and your exactly. best. Exactly. Yeah. Our opponents here. I mean, Dude, yeah, they, they, they get a nice setup. Bro. <laughs> I was saying, I was like, they get a nice setup here. Yeah. Beautiful view. Like, they get it right. The view is unreal. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they have more benches out here when we're playing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, oh, you yeah, know, look well, out. Yeah, that makes I sense. I mean, you're right in the game, uh -huh. though. Imagine a, a ball hits a right yeah. field right on the wall. <laughs> you're just right, right here standing. This is the boys. Oh, it's yeah. just yeah. bonding. Like you don't. These are all the some older guys, freshmen, are all intermixed. Like, and the thing is, we don't talk about senior. You know, we don't do that. It's kind of like. Everybody plays here. We're all teammates. We're gonna be the best we can. We're gonna pick each other up no matter the age gap. And it's just gonna be like that. That's just how it is. Yeah, I, I can put some pictures up. We can talk about it. Yeah, we gotta see yeah. that because yeah. that stuff. They're hard. That's. <laughs> Practice jersey right here. Big West Conference here. You know. Culture, or culture, you know, you know, and this is like we have this right here because you know we play for our last name as well. But this is what we're, this is what we're representing, and when we're when we're representing them, we want to do it to the best of our ability, and I think that's big for us. <laughs> All right, let's, dance. let's do it. We got more. Right we got we got more guys on the wall. <laughs> oh yeah, so here's the other. Okay, yeah. yeah this is the other side. Our uh, our professors in class. They kind of know who we are before we get here in right. the class. And so they'll be like, oh, we got a baseball, we got a dirtbag in the house. And like, yeah. And some people will be like, why well, are you guys named the dirtbags? And I explain to them again, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like, it's how we play, it's not who we are. Yeah. I feel like it becomes like, a, if you know, you know. Type yeah, thing. exactly. Like, All right, man, so we've seen the complex. You should explain the culture. I think culture is a huge <laughs> emphasis for, for Long Beach State, but what do you have, uh, what advice do you have for kids who want to come here one day? You know, when you go out on the field, you got to play with freedom. And I think that's, that's not fully expressed these days. Freedom isn't going out there and not listening and kind of doing your own thing. Freedom is having fun, playing loose, and everything you work for with practice, you go out there and you use that with looseness. And that word freedom comes into play there. Yeah. So what, why did you choose to end up transferring here? So, you know, I've, as a kid, I've always wanted to be a dirtbag. Um, out of high school, you know, God had different plans for me. I went to Cal State Bakersfield, loved my time there, but I knew it was time for me to go. And when I opened my portal and Coach V, you know, made that phone call, like I said, my heart dropped. Came to games with my family when I was younger. 
my mom always loved the idea of me being a dirt bag and yeah. so did my dad and i think that when he called me it was a no-brainer yeah and i think you know a lot of my friends they called me they're like dude your dreams are coming true because they all knew you know you've always wanted to be a dirt bag bro and they came over and gave me a big hug right away that's so cool man and so that was the biggest uh impact in my life honestly yeah. and now we get to gas you up a little bit what's been your best highlight all time uh in your baseball career so gonna get a little deep here my mom got out of jail and she came to my first college game that she's seen me play ever and it was against Long Beach State. No kidding, yeah. In the first inning on a Saturday night, I hit a, a home run. First ever home run my mom seen me hit against oh, Long Beach State. That's crazy. You know, I got to home plate and I looked in the stands and I saw my mom crying and that, that moment for me right there was everything because my mom is my rock and forever will be. And coming here and telling the coaches that story, you know, it was funny because they were like, dude, that's honestly great. Now let's do it in our jersey, you Bro, know? Yeah, so, right, dude. Talk about yeah. God's plan, man. That's so cool. Exactly. That's really, really cool. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Cool. Thank you for watching. Uh, any last thoughts you got for the people? Come out. Watch the Dirt Bags. It's going to be a great season. Yes, sir. Shout out Dirt Bags. Make sure to follow him on all social medias. We'll link him below. I'm trying to hype him up a bit. So, yeah. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes sir. Appreciate it, bro.